Go ahead and give the Lord some high praise. For the Lord is good and His mercies and yours forever. Go ahead and worship the Lord. 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 We have come upon Man Zion tonight. We have come upon the city of the living God this night. We have come to God. We have come to God who is the judge of all. We have come to our Father. We have come to the way maker. We have come to the miracle worker. We have come to the one that can transform us. We have come to the one that can lead us through our singlehood phase without the stinger. We can cross singlehood without being burnt Father Lord we thank you we have come to the one that can be our anchor the one that can hold us the one that can lead us the one that can be our guide the one that can give us victory even in our relationship go ahead and worship the Lord go ahead and worship the Lord go ahead and worship the Lord tonight let your son be heard in Zion. Let your sound be heard in Zion. They are living beings in Zion. They are entities in Zion. He said, For you have come upon Man Zion, the city of the living God. He said, With his innumerable company of angels. He said, You have come to the spirit of just men made perfect. You have come to God. You have come to Jesus. You have come to the blood of sprinkling that speaketh better things than the blood of Abel. You have come. That means they are entities upon Man Zion. Can your sound be heard in Zion this night? Go ahead head and lift up your voice in worship for the Lord is good it does not matter where you are it does not matter how old you are and you are still single the Lord is good the Lord is good can you let go of every burden can you let go of every pain can you let go of everything and worship God this night and worship the Lord most higher and worship the one that was that is and needs to come Elohim is his name Oh Jesus will love you man si su feria tai gombe de karia goshigaha zetoli berigadi rusevrana mana rigodi falati e kopelege de ruzizi fele kapakatoshaha tenintos esifarato brenika paragadi e zondo pelegadeha lempe ruziga dandele kavaranish kaido falambre da baham de riprogoton ovolata le risome de kaido feigo to mele kaido maladande la de bosh in kabeno zene Unto you, Lord, is the lifting up of of our hands, uh, unto you the lifting up of our hearts, uh, unto you uh, the sacrifice ascends. Ah, jemenon zike peina kaidon zeneki gagati o kombi kiki kia kapalati eketeketa. Is someone worshiping God this night? Ah, uh, praise, uh, praise the Lord God. Uh, David the psalmist says, uh, I will enter His gates with thanksgiving. Um, I will enter His courts with praises. Uh, I will worship Him. Um, in the s- in, his, in the beauty of his holiness uh, and Jesus came uh, and told us that God is looking for worshippers that will worship in spirit and in truth, uh, those that will worship beyond their circumstances uh, oh Shakatiya, those whom their circumstances will not determine the manner of worship they give to God, uh, those that are not fair with that believers, uh, them that will worship God in spirit and in truth, uh, are you such a worshipper uh, 
Go ahead and lift up your sound unto heaven. Lift up your sound unto God. Ah, for the Lord is here. The Lord is here. Yahweh is here. Resune kepenia. Gompritia ha. Ele keperus esinana ha. Jeketiko pele ropragadianda ha. The Lord is here ha. Ale kompritia valatalia. Worship, worship. Worship the Lord most high. Worship the Lord most high. Ah, I say bless the Lord, oh my soul. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. And all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. And do not forget his benefits. They are benefits that the Lord has given you. It takes somebody, somebody that remembers to be able to give thanksgiving. If you are forgetful, you cannot give thanks. So the psalmist was telling his soul, you have the capacity to forget, but I am bidding you, do not forget the Lord's benefits. Can you recount the benefits of the Lord over your life? In the last one month, in the last one year, the benefits that the Lord has given you, can you recount them and begin to worship him. Can you recount them and begin to give him the praise? Ah, oh, I say, bless the Lord, oh my soul. That was a command. The psalmist was speaking to his soul and saying, bless the Lord. Can you speak to your soul tonight and say, bless the Lord, even though you may have forgotten him, but I cause you to remember. I will think, I will ponder on what the Lord has done so that I can render a worship unto the Lord. Ah, oh, bless the Lord, oh my soul. And all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. And do not forget his benefits. Can you say, Lord, I will not forget your benefits. I will not be ungrateful, Lord. I will not be ungrateful, Lord. I will never be ungrateful, Lord. I recount the benefits you have given me. I recount the job you have given me. I recount the way you made me graduate. I recount the journey mercies you've been granting me. I recount how you led me out of that wrong relationship. I recount how you have caused me to grow in church. I recount your goodness. I recount how you have preserved my life. I recount these things and I give you the praise and I give you the glory. Is someone worshiping God tonight? And aquatica days, ha, repregadosia, ha, mentenos ivaramda lagadosia. Oh, Jesus. Oh Jesus, oh Jesus, the Lord is here. The Lord balate kali rinzo ti balatiya komba hadish. Len teru savalaki oto merigatosia. The enemy would not want you to worship him. The enemy would not want you to give praise. He will not want you to give thanks. So he will come and he will fill your heart with all the things that are not working out right in your life. He will come and he will fill your mind with all the things that are going amiss. But can you this night choose to look at the things that have gone on correctly? Can you look at the things that have gone on well? Oh, bene kupere ha. Eskate nombre kapalati e kapalenda ha. Entero praga pa ha. Adenama ha. And jump ha. And rejoice ha ha ha. And laugh out loud ha. And say the devil you will not have my mind ha. I remember the goodness of the Lord ha. I am alive in the land of the living ha. You will not mess with my life the devil ha. Ah, you will not mess with my mind ha. I remember. I am not uh, 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 short-minded. Uh, uh, my memory will not be lost. Uh, I remember the goodness of the Lord uh, and I worship only uh, Kayosiata and I bow and worship uh, and I jump where I am. I love where I am. Uh, I clap my hands. I stomp my feet uh, in Gopelesia uh, in the glow. Ah, uh, uh, Jesus, we love you. Jesus will love you. Jesus will love you. Oh, Shana Makadea. Oh, Doskitiya. In the name of Jesus, we have worshipped. You know, gratitude is the, is the springboard for the next phase in life. When you are grateful for that, which God has done, it's a springboard for the next level. So when Prophet Samuel, he got to a point in the journey of the of the israelite and he he established a stone and called it um um what did he even call it and called it ebenezer called that stone ebenezer he called it the stone of help saying for thus far the lord has led us in that statement thus far was the energy for the 
for the future because prophet samuel was saying if the lord has led us thus far he is able to lead us on oh do you understand that so thanksgiving is the platform that gives you you know, you know that launches you into your more oh and you must learn to give god the praise in the name of jesus we have worshipped amen all right um you are welcome once again we'll be praying over a couple of things um this night which is uh, my first session i would love us to pray um in line with um crossing singlehood without damage without getting burnt so that will be the focus of our prayer this night and then tomorrow night which is my will be my last session we'll focus it on crossing on crossing you know you know we'll be releasing prayers of blessing over you we'll be praying in the direction of god sending the right person to you that's the crossing so tonight we'll focus on not being burnt while being why why single then tomorrow night we'll focus on you know things aligning to bring you into your prophetic destiny to bring you into your prophetic marriage do you understand so but before we start we just have like 30 more minutes to go um i want to say that marriage is beautiful you know i got married i, I got married um december last year um we just celebrated our one month anniversary on 19th so with the <coughs> one month i've been in marriage i can tell you that marriage is beautiful but that is if you marry the right person so marriage is beautiful but that does not mean that singlehood is not beautiful so we must begin to realize that life is in phases and god has designed every phase to be beautiful you know in the story of creation you know after god will create he will say and the super will say and he will see that it was good and then he will move on so everything that god creates is good so singlehood is good the phase of singlehood is good so you must start from that point and begin to realize oh singlehood is not a burden to me oh corporate do you understand you know the way some persons take up this thing and they are like oh god i am getting old and then they get worried they get worried they get worried they get worried being worried will not solve the the, the situation so begin to understand that singlehood is a phase and it is beautiful in itself so as a lady you don't need a man to complete you so your life is not on pause because you are single waiting for you know the man that will come and then play you so that you start fulfilling your purpose as a single realize that singlehood is beautiful and it's a phase and then everything Oh, Siva Natanya. Everything ka you cause this if Reni Manakaya Katesha. Oh, Montozi Siferadish in Kabanda Ruf Reni Manatan de Kabala Tibre Hanganisha. Oh, Zipeni Atana Kazia. There is someone, um, um, God has been pointing at your relationship. God has been saying that you are in, in with the wrong man. He has told you to call up the relationship, but your problem is that you are thinking if i call this off who again will come so you are waiting for the next man to come before you call the current one off but god is telling you once again call it off so you don't need a man to complete you you don't need a woman to complete you so if you are always wanting to be in a relationship that's a bad sign that you are not ready that's a sign that you're not ready for marriage if you're always needing to be in a relationship it means that you've not understood single single singlehood so as i was saying single is a phase and you know we must realize that every phase of our life is for a purpose so the fuel i'm running on in my marriage right now is mostly the the ones i bought in my singlehood phase so i want to tell you this night that singlehood is not a cause you are not on that cause realize that realize it you realize that you are not under a cause singlehood is not a cause it's the time for you to prepare and i want to tell you that the more you get engaged in your preparation 
the faster you hasten the work of God, the, what God wants to do in your life, the faster the marriage comes. So let's look at journeying through singlehood without a singe. We must begin to understand what well, okay, what, what what does it mean? What we mean is that being able to handle your singlehood without getting burned by the devil. And to do that, there are some things I know that you should understand. Number one is that you must understand that every temptation you face is an attack on your destiny or your purpose. So every every temptation to compromise is an attack on your purpose. It's an attack on your destiny. So when the devil brings a man your way and says fornicate, he's not happy in your fornication. His excitement is in what he's doing to your purpose is in what is doing to your destiny is that his excitement that he is pulling you away from what god wants you to do do you understand so the eyes of the devil is on the bigger thing oh the eyes of the devil is on on what he is killing not on what you are doing you know when you fornicate it, it does not make him bigger do you understand but but what it does is that he is happy seeing that you are pulling away from your destiny okay so when we look at the life of mary mary the mother of jesus a prophecy went ahead thousands of years back that a virgin will give birth right that a virgin will give birth to a son do you understand so jesus was destined to be born by a virgin question had it been mary gave into fornication would she have fulfilled that destiny the answer is no because prophecy is that a virgin <laughs> will give birth to jesus do you understand that means that even though you know mary would go and fornicate and then come out and ask god for forgiveness god will forgive her but she would have successfully removed herself from destiny do you understand what we are talking about so every temptation you must begin to see every temptation as an attack on your destiny as an attack on your purpose as an attack on what god wants you to do so when they when temptations come 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 to you again don't look at it with 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 levity don't look at it with 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 you know without understanding that this is an attack on my destiny are you following so that will form our first prayer and the first prayer is lord preserve me in destiny it's a prayer of preservation apostle paul you know praying for for one of the churches he wrote to he says that the lord will preserve them unto the coming of our lord jesus christ so can you make that prayer and say lord preserve me in my singlehood every temptation that comes grant me the strength to overcome in first corinthians chapter 10 and verse 13 he said that god will not allow any temptation to come to you that is more than you he said but with every temptation he will make a way of escape can you say lord open my eyes with every temptation open my eyes to the way of escape that you have made in the name of jesus go ahead and make that prayer ah you are saying lord i don't want to miscarry my destiny lord i don't want to miscarry my destiny in the name of jesus in my sin go hood face uh, i don't want to to watch your purpose in my life and um, ah uh, just like mary preserved herself uh, and she was a virgin uh, and she was qualified to give birth to the christ uh, in the same way you can preserve yourself uh, you can stay single without uh, being burnt uh, it takes the preservation of the almighty uh, can you go ahead and make that cry unto god residuo pecado esodo bogodondo pologodo Lord, that you will preserve me in destiny. Oh, my life will not be taken away. I will not mar my life on the bread of fornication. I will not mar my life on the bed of masturbation. I will not mar my destiny on the bed of prostitution. You know, prostitution is not just standing on the street. I will not mar my destiny on the bed of pornography. 
you know yourself you know that which the devil is tempting you with you know that which is your weak point you know that can you begin to confess it to the lord and say lord help me 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 in ten of mine, Lord, help me, O Lord, help me, a rescopelido, maintain a mendo paradia, Isus ekabaha, ayagada, preserve me in destiny, preserve me in my proposal, all the comberedons. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, you know, when Jezebel, you know, came to Nebot. She was not after his vineyard. You know, vineyard, the vineyard was just the, the platform that she gained entrance into his life. Ah, oh, <laughs> what Jezebel was interested in was the life of Naboth. What she was interested in was the life of Naboth. The vineyard was just the entrance point. So when the devil brings temptation, the temptation is just an entrance point. He's seeking something deeper to destroy. He said the devil comes to kill, comes to steal, comes to destroy. That is his agenda. So when he comes into your life, he looks for an entrance. The temptation is an entrance. Fornication is an entrance. The big goal is the killing of your future. The big goal is the destruction of your marriage but we are saying tonight no lord lord no i will be preserved in my singlehood i will be preserved in my singlehood i will be preserved go ahead and make that cry one more time the beautiful thing is that you know yourself you know the areas that are your weaknesses you know the areas that you are struggling you know all those areas uh, that you are struggling uh, uh, and they so so pregadia uh, repregatosia and there is grace tonight for you there is grace tonight for you there is grace, so much grace for you tonight. Ali kumbali kodi se superia gada. Melo sade kade jigidigidi. There is grace tonight for you. There is grace tonight for you. There is grace tonight for you. Mele doza si go peria doze. Elus igi gugwa gritoze rigo borodo veleta. Im ben don sandi gidi konti vidigia. Limbirum de riga donza ni. Gadesha gadia gadabala kie kombre da 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 reba gadagadia kombele da ele nonza el shagada babade usengo peram de ruatia me ne kobele da ilen sosodia me shagaba me le dei zai dombre don zai de kaberunza reba gadose no menuanda ele nonza el shababa usigada el resino bologadosha oh Jesus. Oh Jesus, you have to help us tonight. Oh, preserve me. Oh, in the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen. You know, we'll be moving on to the next prayer point. You know, because of time. Um, but if you are not satisfied with, you know, with how deep you went in the prayer, you know, you know, you just write it down and then you continue afterwards. You know, you must understand that before men make progress they pay the price there is no glory without the price do you understand so these platforms for example that you have like this prayer we're having tonight is to stir up something in your spirit but beyond now there must be a battle there must be a war that you must engage in Jacob engaged in that battle, in that war. He said in that night, he sent his wives away. <laughs> Not away. He sent his wife ahead of him. Sent his cattle ahead of him. Sent his servants ahead of him. Said, and the scripture says, and when he was alone, he said this, the, the, an angel came and wrestled with him. And that was a redefining moment in his life. That was where his name was changed from Jacob to Israel. That was where he became another man. So this is a battle for your life. And you must take it like that. Oh, Koperia Toshahadia.
so the second prayer we're going to be praying is for those that have you know engaged in one sin or the other who will be praying a prayer of restoration for those that have indulged in one form of sexual sin you know in this generation a lot there are a lot of sexual sins you know sexual sins is like what is holding is like a monster that is holding our youth that is holding singles that is even the marriage self is holding them so we're going to be praying a prayer of restoration hmm restoration in Joel chapter 2, the scripture talks about restoration. He said, and I will restore the, the, the years that the canker worm, the farmer ones have eaten and all that. So there is, a, there is a mystery of restoration. God can restore a man back. So if you have engaged in one form of sin or the other, you know, it seems as if your singlehood is already burnt. God can restore you. That's the beautiful thing that happens. God can restore you. <laughs> you know, when that woman that was caught in adultery came to Jesus, he says, he that is without sin should cast the first stone. And then they began to move away. And she was left with Jesus. And you know the, the beautiful thing? Not the beautiful thing. The truth was that Jesus was qualified to cast the first stone. So she came face to face with the only man that could cast the first stone on her and she, she may have been shaking what will he say we cast the first stone and jesus told 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 her neither do i i don't condemn you you now said go and sin no more in that go and sin no more was an impartation of grace a restorative force acted in her life and she went away a new woman so you can leave this prayer ground a new man you can leave this prayer session a new woman. So we are going to be crying out to God tonight for five minutes or so and saying, Lord, restore. Wherever I have missed it, restore. 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 He said there is none that cry to restore. But tonight, there are men that will cry restore. Over their lives that will cry restore. Go ahead and make that prayer. Say, Lord, restore. Lord, restore. Restore. Lord, I made this mistake. I made that mistake. Restore. I made this one. I made that mistake. Restore. Lord, I come back to you. Restore me, Akabahati. Restore me, O God. Let the blood of Jesus wash me clean. Let the blood of Jesus purify me. The Rusaidomba. Konzizikia de Ruziva la Tecoba, main consi eco barido, zeriga daidon, zaiga daidon, bridiv rascadela, jegedege demene gumalatio gombridir ruvalatea, ah, jebenos, the Lord restore, restore the years that the devil has eaten, the years that the canker worms have eaten, the years that the locusts have eaten, the palmer worms, the years that they have eaten, ah, in the rooms, the Lord restore. Restore one to me uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, restore one to me. Uh, Le Berus, uh, it may be that the way your life is going right now uh, is because of the eating of the canker worms. Uh, is because of the things that the devil has infiltrated your life with. Uh, the direction your life is taking right now may be predicated upon the things that you have done in the past. Uh, but tonight you are saying, Lord, restore. Restore one to me. Uh, restore my dignity unto me. Uh, restore the dignity of my manhood unto me uh, restore my virginity unto me uh, in the name of jesus uh, restore uh, restore uh, let the blood of jesus wash you clean uh, whiter than the snow uh, in the name of jesus oh kosi ikukun zizi fi kale kombliti zianash homoto zifi akande balagadash suli kade zusi Oh, Jesus, restore. Jesus, restore. Jesus, restore. Jesus, restore. Shabalaida kadoza dia da bakayadash. Inamani kaida zizi vanaya de monoki vutali kabatu ziya. Didi kombali kaya tiza zudi vina dia do vono muku biki gigia zolo boko menia gaya doza. Meida kailo zania shabalaba. In the name of Jesus, 
we have prayed. Amen. Next, you must begin to understand. You know, we are praying towards, you know, being able to um, live, the, live in the singlehood phase without being burnt. So all the prayers we are making is in that direction for tonight. And like I said earlier, tomorrow we'll be praying the direction of crossing over to, you know, to the to being married. There is a grace that we carry as a couple. I told you I got I got married last month. There is a grace we carry to release men and women into their marriages. So tomorrow we'll be unleashing that grace, grace to you. But tonight we want to deal with staying single without being burnt. So you must begin to understand that you cannot pass through your singlehood phase without being burnt if you are not disciplined if you are not disciplined if you are not a disciplined person you can you will be burnt you are likely to be burnt if you are not disciplined unless god's mercy shows up for you if you don't have boundaries you are likely to be burnt as a single so our case study is joseph the husband of mary It would interest you to know that <laughs> where after the angel appeared to him in a dream and told him don't put away your wife um she is with a child you know of the of the of the holy ghost and all that and all that when the angel left him he woke up and let's read matthew chapter 1 verse 24 and verse 25 he said, when, G, when Joseph, I'm reading from the Passion Translation, when Joseph awoke from his dream, he did all that the angel of the Lord instructed him to do. He took Mary to be his wife. Listen, no. He took Mary to be his wife. That means he got married to her legally before they were betrothed to get married. But, you know, when he noticed the pregnancy, he wanted to put her out and then he was in charge of the angel to take her in. So he went ahead with the process, right? But look at what verse 25 says. He says, but they refrained from having sex until she gave birth to her son, whom they named Jesus. Talk about discipline. This was a man. The wife was legally his. So he could have afford, you know, you know, you know, he, he, he could afford to have sex with her. But the scripture says, Joseph did not because, oh, Copernia, he wanted to, he, 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 was, he was a man that knew destiny, that knew purpose, that knew, you know, you know, you know, allowing God to do his thing. Oh, is someone understanding? My point is that Joseph could have had sex with Mary, but he chose to be disciplined in order to fulfill the will of the father do you understand these are men that understand purpose so he heard himself from having sex with his wife with his wife not girlfriend with his wife because he understood destiny he understood purpose hmm. so imagine them in the same house Mary takes her breath, comes in naked, but a man was able to hold himself. Discipline. So tonight, in the next few minutes, you'll be praying for discipline. You'll be asking God to help you to build boundaries as a single. What boundaries do you have as a single? What are your boundaries? He said, narrow is the way that leads to life. He's talking about boundary. It's talking about boundary. What are your boundaries? Can I begin to pray in the Holy Ghost? I ask God, help me to live a life of discipline. Help me to set boundaries life, around my life. Let me not just live my life as though, as though there is no boundary, as though there is not everybody. Anything goes, anything goes, anything happens, that will happen. There is no boundary. Lord, help me to build boundaries. Help me to say, this is what I can do. This is where I can go at this time. This is where I cannot go. This is what I cannot do. This is how I cannot talk. This is how I can talk. Help me to be disciplined in the name of Jesus. Pray out, sir. 
go ahead and make that prayer go ahead and make that prayer prayer of discipline that the lord will help you to be disciplined that the lord will give you the strength to set boundaries and you know sometimes you set boundaries but they crumble when your emotions go higher can you say lord preserve my boundaries oh shut the door you may be in a relationship and it's not a, a it's not a, it's not a platform to cast away all boundaries you are in a relationship it's even more intense so you set more intense boundaries can you say holy ghost help me tonight help me tonight help me oh god that my courtship will not lead to me being burnt as a single i have survived all these years as a single let it not be now that i am in a courtship unto marriage that i will not be burnt lord help me to set boundaries help me to be disciplined in the name of jesus go ahead and make that prayer lord help me to be disciplined I will not be burnt. I will not be burnt. I will not be burnt. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen. I'm trying to, to rush so that we can wrap up before one hour. Oh, the next prayer point is that you must understand that you reap what you sow. You, you, you reap what you sow. I think it's Galatians chapter 6 verse 9 that says, um, He that sows to the flesh, out of it you will reap death. He that sows to the spirit, he said, do not be deceived, for God cannot be mocked. Whatever a man sows, that he will reap. So you reap what you sow. It means therefore that what you allow into your mind, what you allow into your heart, through your ear gates, through your eye gates, is what will determine what you experience as a single. So you cannot be spending hours upon hours watching romantic movies, listening to ungodly songs and expect to be shielded. No, 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 no. It doesn't work that way. Whatever you sow, whatever you feed your mind with is what it will give birth to in your actions. So, the next prayer is a prayer of commitment and a prayer of hunger. Number one, ask God to increase your hunger for Him so that you will rechannel your energy to the things that will build you up. You will not spend time watching things that will bring you down. For you will spend time in hunger and then a prayer of commitment saying, Lord, I commit myself to stay away from this kind of movies. I commit myself to stay away from this kind of songs. I commit myself to stay in your word. I commit myself to stay in prayer. Go ahead and make that prayer. A prayer of commitment, a prayer of hunger. Can you go ahead? It takes hunger to be, to be, to be. You know, to seek the things of God. Uh, he says, through desire, a man having separated himself, um, you know, intermingles with all wisdom. Uh, it's through your desire for God uh, that you will be pushed forward. Um, it's through your desire for God. Uh, how hungry are you for God? Uh, he told us that this your singlehood phase um, is a time to yearn for God. Um, it's a time to get more and more of God. Uh, it's a time to get more and more of God. Uh, can you go ahead and say, Lord, ah, uh, uh, Pelosia continually set me on fire, set me on fire that I will burn to the very end. I will not be burnt by sin, but I will burn for you, oh God. Ah, that is a prayer, Lord. I will not be burnt by sin, but I will burn for you, oh God. Continually set us on fire, set us on fire that we will burn to the very end. Oh, the Lord wants to set you on fire tonight uh, and something caught the foxes uh, and he tied them day by day, two by two uh, and he set their tails on fire and unleashed them into the farm of the Philistines. Uh, God wants to catch you. Uh, he wants to set you on fire and unleash you into the land of the enemy and unleash you to cause havoc in the, in the realms of darkness. Uh, but if you are not hungry for God, he cannot use you. Uh, he takes a 
man that is hungry for God uh, to run to God and for God to set him on fire. It takes someone that is desperate. Ah, uh, uh, I am desperate for you. Oh, 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 oh. is that your heart cry tonight? Uh, I am hungry for you. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I am desperate for you, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I am hungry for you, oh, 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 go ahead, <laughs> go ahead, amakaya da boko ya ya kaila lo zalania gabaya du zalai gigi gata ya toziada. Inna ni ati ni kia sabali kaya gade sabali kia kadi ya kanami kidi kia kaladi ya kabaya kadi ya kadi ya ikidi kidi kia kaladi ya kabalati ya kabaya kadi ya kade kade biya ha lika ya kusi vidi kia kabalati ya gaya gade zala kadi ya gama baba ya kaya ta imene ya nasi ya wala kadi mini kaya da ha ni di se di ati ne kia sabalati ya there is fire in this place ha imini kia shoga da kadi ya kabalati ya kabalada receive. Holy fire, receive holy fire, holy fire, burn upon my heart. Receive the fire of the Holy Ghost right now in the name of Jesus. Receive Resign Holy fire, holy fire, holy holy fire. Holy fire, burn up on my heart. I got the ba 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 ba. I got the ya da da ba da da ba da ya da. Holy fire, eh. Holy fire, eh. Hot ye kabala dia. Holy fire, burn up on my heart. Holy fire, I dispense you into this life, sir. In the name of Jesus, sir. Receive the fire of the Holy Ghost. Receive the fire of the Holy. Holy Ghost, right now, right now, wherever you are, right now, receive, 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 receive. Your life will not remain the same again. Receive, oh, you are under the influence of the Holy Ghost. The anointing of the Lord comes upon you in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Kaye Suniaka. Si bukwa kia, tero ku zizi viri kala gadosia, jeta de zuzi fika lando, pero zadi kado zigi gi anosa, shada bali kosia. Oh Jesus, oh Jesus, mande solo kumbri di zande kadi godobri kaya dosia, mena ido sala kumbri tish. In the name of Jesus, we are prayed. Finally, finally, we're praying for our inner cycle. Our inner circle. You must understand that whoever you have as your inner circle is what is who determines your future. The people that you have as your inner circle are they are the ones that determine whether you will go far or you will not. Mary and Elizabeth. He said after the angel spoke with Mary. He told her, your cousin Elizabeth is also um, six months pregnant. And Mary left where she was and went to the house of Elizabeth. And the scripture says that when she stepped in at the hearing of the greeting of, 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 of Mary, the child in the womb of Elizabeth lived for joy. There was a sharpening. Then Elizabeth began to prophesy and she was confirming what Mary had heard from the angel, talking about in a cycle. They are the ones that will help you go far. So the last three points for your inner circle. Can you say, Lord, screen my inner circle. Those that are not meant to be there, take away. It's not everybody that's meant to be your best friend or your friend. Lord, help me to have the right set of people around me. In the name of Jesus, help me to have the people that would encourage me to yearn for you. Help me to have the people that would encourage me. Lord, help me to have the right inner circle. Make that prayer right now as we begin to to wrap up in the next few minutes go ahead go ahead haha oh zika yiga dozi yakambi dukuwa kandesia 
Lord, give me the strength to leave those that I should leave. <laughs> and Lord, cause the earth to move and bring me into the midst of my covenant friends. In the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we thank you. Father, Lord, we thank you. 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 Oh. Shakatos, this is Fanny and Klatos, Avina Kamananash. Go ahead and begin to give the Lord some praise tonight. Go ahead and begin to thank Him for how He has led us. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Give Him the praise, give Him the glory. Give Him the praise, give Him the glory. God has done a mighty work in your life, in my life, in everyone's life. Go ahead and thank Him. In the name of Jesus, we have worshipped. Father, Lord, we thank you. We give you the praise. We ascribe all greatness to you. We ascribe all glory to you. Lord, thank you for this prayer session tonight. Thank you for the lives you've touched. Thank you for the people you've blessed. Thank you for how you've moved us forward. Thank you, Lord. These things are permanent in our lives. The fire you've set upon our hearts, upon our altars, they are permanent. In the name of Jesus, it will continue to increase. It is from glory to glory. In the name of Jesus, I pray over my brethren and I declare that they are preserved in their destiny. In the name of Jesus, the enemy will not have them as means meat. The enemy will not have them as food. In the name of Jesus, Father Lord, be thou exalted. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen. God bless you for joining. I remain Pastor Obonaya. Okay. And tomorrow we'll have the final session, my final session. Um, and we'll be praying, we'll be crossing over into marriage by the grace of God. So, be right here tomorrow. God bless you. I want to appreciate the man that God is using on this platform, um, Mr. Elijah. God bless you, sir. Thank you for the privilege. Thank you for this privilege. I count it a privilege. I pray that God would expand the, his work in your hands in the name of Jesus. God bless you. God bless your wife. God bless <laughs> your children. <laughs> All right, people. Good night. Have a lovely night rest. Bye.